All right, coming up next is the UFC Heavyweight Showdown. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Well, this dude is a submission magician. I am very thankful I am not fighting him here tonight. And it's really a case of pick your poison. He has so many different chokes in his arsenal and has been a master of getting these fights exactly where he wants them. There are black belts and there are guys like this who can do jujitsu at a level that not many people, regardless of the time spent, can truly get to. His understanding of position is truly unbelievable. He always has the frame. The moment you start to press into him, he's always underhooking, always looking for the next escape route, but not to get back to his feet. Right. He wants to go from bottom to top. If he's in the top position, you are constantly, constantly in danger. Don't think he can't submit you from the bottom. Right. But his position of choice will always be in the top position sitting yes. in that beautiful half guard. Yeah, his striking also has improved a lot, but no secret as to what he'll be trying to do in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena, in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, live. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. So the fight is now underway. We'll see how long it goes. You've got a submission specialist on one side and on the other side. Maybe the most well-rounded fighter in this division. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon. Because that one skill he has is so good that you're in danger the entire time. Nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Look at the turtle in that kick. Cool. Huge body shot. Give me that inside kick to the leg now. Good punch. And now he lands a combination. Oh, straight right. Oh, beautiful leave the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage. And he put it to good use there. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Right hand upstairs. Oh, he eats the knee. 
Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, getting fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's gonna be the one to find that one little area that they can expose? Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. They separate. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Changes his stance. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Both fighters now continuing to try to get a more dominant position. Leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Yes, All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. And he landed the right hand there. Both guys really throwing with authority. There you go. Look for the shot. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. He loaded up on that right hand, too. He is all about that left kick to the body. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Lee gets touched by that kick there. Just misses with the jab. Not only will this affect the right there, I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Nice kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. 15 seconds. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Round two straight ahead. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. You ready? You ready? All right, round two. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, looks like that shot was blocked. The left hook lands on the counter. Oh, there he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. 
He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to begin the night. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot. That will finish the fight. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend, or the referee's going to stop the got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture, and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh, man, is he on wobbly legs. Right hand punch in the clinch. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Just over three minutes now to go. With this kick, into that kick. Goes back to that left kick once again. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Right hook to the head block. the target, so a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Able to thwart the single leg takedown attempt there. And there comes the separation now. Look at this. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue. Wow. And just like that, the fight is over. Unbelievable. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, six seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.